Kenya All of this coming like is a dream yeah. All of this coming like is a dream yeah. All of this coming like is a dream, yeah. like is a dream. dream. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is the big day. I'm finally doing a big chop. It's been approximately 15 months, I believe, since I started going natural. And it's long overdue. I'm so excited and ready to get into this. This is one side of my hair that I previously cut before, just as a momentum to keep on going. Okay, let's jump into it. I first drenched my hair in warm water in the shower and then I'm going to use a Tresemme conditioner. You can use any conditioner you have and I'm going to slather that on my hair as much as possible so I can begin. Then I'm going to section my hair in four sections so I can start the cutting process gonna start cutting from the back and work my way up to the front and I'm also starting on the side that I previously cut before I'm gonna cut that side first because that side tends to grow the slowest so I'm gonna see if cutting it first will help it grow at the same rate I don't know we'll see how that goes then I'm gonna take a pair of hair scissors and start cutting I noticed um, during this that I got the wrong pair of scissors. These were hair thinners and not hair shears. So that did not work well for me. As you can see by my face, it's pissing me off. So I ended up having to go um, using a regular scissors. Regular scissors aren't necessarily the best thing, but that's all I had. So I had to make it work and I think it did an okay job. Here's where I moved on to the regular scissors. It was doing a good job. The process was going much smoother than compared to the trash of a shirt that I bought. Um, during the rest of the video, I'm just going to be cutting my hair. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this and I hope that this was helpful and this motivates you if you're going natural to bite the bullet and Pop all the hair off like it's such a great feeling it's like if you're going through anything stress and it's like cutting your hair just lets go of all that dead weight it's the most amazing feeling ever let me just apologize for my voice I know I sound tired or sleepy but it's like almost two in the morning and I'm really just trying to get this voiceover done. So yeah, guys, I am really sorry about that. Okay, I'm just doing a quick lint check. I'm noticing it's almost at my collarbone, but that's just for the back. But that's pretty good length. So I hope to reach bra strap length, hopefully, by next year. Fingers crossed.
had a Jericho. Moving closer towards the front, I did notice that I have a lot um, of stray hair further up my root. So that's probably from heat damage because I used to blow dry my hair a lot. So I'll probably just have to let that grow out because I'm not cutting my hair any shorter than this. It's a no. So my tip to you guys is reduce heat as much as possible when you're transitioning because that can just ruin your whole process. But my hair typically grows quite fast so I'm not worried about that at all. This is the end of the video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Good hair means curls and waves. Bad hair means you look like a slave. No.